Guys, so we got another really good ad here from Pierre Polyev. This time, instead of going after Trudeau, he's going after his uh, his sidekick, uh, Christian Freeland. So let's have a look, and then we'll talk about it after, like usual. What kind of a Canada do you want to live in? Do you want to live in a country where kids go to school hungry? Do you want to live in a country where the only young Canadians who can buy their own homes are those with parents who can help? with a down payment? Do you want to live in a country where we make the investments we need in healthcare, in housing, in old age pensions, but we lack the political will to pay for them? Do you want to live in a country where those at the very top live lives of luxury, but must do so in gated communities behind ever higher fences using private healthcare and airplanes? because the public sphere is so degraded and the wrath of the vast majority of their less privileged compatriots burns so hot. Yeah, I, I mean, like, how out of touch is Christian Freeland? I mean, again, this is just another example of Whatever is happening that's going wrong right now, while liberals are in power and have been for a long time, they like to say, oh, well, we're doing this. And if you vote the conservatives, they're going to create all these problems. The problems they list are problems that already exist now that were created by this current liberal government. They criticize other people for potentially doing what they're already doing. It's insane. 25% of voters still vote for this guy. There, there's been people who voted from once, twice, three times. And they're about to quadruple down. Because whether they think, well, well Pierre Polyev's a meanie head, or, you know, well, he's like Donald Trump. I mean, these arguments are, are so bad. Especially considering, look what the liberals have done. And now what? We're supposed to believe all this pandering bullshit about how, oh, now we're going to build the houses. Oh, now we're going to make sure kids don't go to school hungry. Now we're going to, you know, try to get people out of tents. But they're not. Now we're going to tax the rich. Yeah, well, we'll see how that works. Because we all know you're not going to do anything to piss off the donor class, which owns your whole cabinet. Like, give me a break. It's so ridiculous. And yes, I, there's problems with the conservative side. Are they a bunch of bought and paid for corporate shells as well? I'd say so. Pierre Paul, yeah, put out a statement today saying he's stands with a certain country in a certain war right now. YouTube is very strict on talking about that, so I want to be very careful. But again, I, you know, Pierre Paul, yeah, yeah, there's problems with him. He's a warmonger too. But at least when he was housing minister... The average rent in Canada was nine hundred dollars. It's now two grand. So yeah, I got a lot of problems with Pierre Polyev, but financially speaking, conservatives are always way better, and that's what we need right now. I'm not conservative. I don't have a, a real party to vote for other than maybe the PPC, but their leader sucks, and he's weak. So I mean, I have no choice but to vote for Pierre Polyev. But just so you know, I do have problems with him too. I just have way more problems with the liberals. And that's why I think Pierre Polyev should be the next prime minister because he's the, the <laughs> I don't know, the, the, the best of the worst or whatever you want to call it. I mean, I, you know, I, I think he panders a lot too. I think there's a lot of problems in the Conservative Party and there might even be traitors in the Conservative Party. Maybe not. Maybe it's just liberals and NDPs, but who knows? But either way, one thing I do like about Pierre Polyev is how well he's exposed the liberals and how he calls them out, just ruthlessly attacks their bullshit policies. And that's what we need. And that's what Canada needs for now, at least financially. So again, Pierre Polyev for prime minister. I think a lot of people are feeling that way. Let me know what you think. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps grow the channel. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll be back shortly with another video.